everyone. This is Nudge. And this is my new uh, playthrough. I decided that Adventure to Fate Battle Arena is a little too hard for me to do. So instead, I'm gonna do this, which is, uh, well, a little different. Way too different, actually. You, you don't even know what it is. Uh, well, actually you do, because I, because you checked the title. But whatever. So, um, this is Nyanchan Sigoroku DX from Nyanchan Games. Only in Japanese. Unless... Well, I'm gonna talk about that later. But... It's a uh, board game. I don't know if it's only... Uh, done in Japan or what, but... It, well, it's full of Japanese things. So, yeah. So first, I'm gonna get started by telling you how to go about translating all the text. So, when you install the game from uh, the link that I'll hopefully put up to Dropbox, probably, I will, um... Mm, well, once you do that, it's just a setup, and it extracts all the things into a folder in your Yanchan Games folder if you don't have one already. Uh, just like any other Yanchan game. And when you play it first, there may be a bunch of text and you may hear a bunch of clicks and beeps. Just press enter a bunch until you don't hear them. Uh, it may ask you for a password first, or a UAC thing will pop up and it'll update itself and run itself. Once you hear the intro, you may hear even more text, but when you hear this music, you're in the main menu. And let me just tell you I love this music. Like, not just this, but everything. And it's all midis, so yay. Now, um, after you've done that, all you gotta do... Uh, let me double check here real, real quick. Okay, so you press. You press down three times. Press enter. You press four times down and then press enter. And then you hear that. And then you press uh, down three times. And then. It should speak in Japanese if you have a Japanese synthesizer. Like I do. Now, if you don't, or if you just want to translate the game like I will, you um, can get Ian Reed's JGT add on, which is translated, uh, which is uh, called actually uh, an acronym for Japanese Game Translator, which will, you know, send text that comes out automatically from NVDA to the server and it's fast as well so yay um, once you've installed it you have to log in with your blind gamers account which you can create on the website um, if uh, anyone is interested in making a game and I'm just not doing the solo I can you can uh, give me a comment and I'll give you a link to the website for the add-on and a Dropbox link to the game. So, let's get out of this menu. And uh, I'm gonna start doing translation. So, once you got that set up, you have to press NVIDIA Control Shift Y. And then it'll, ena uh, it'll enable Auto Translate Last Spoken. So, let's go through this menu. First option. Yeah, that's a new game. Next. Starting from board, reach the same data and continue the game from there. That's load. Other features, you will access to other features, but next check, such as a new mode and what's one in the game will be included. Um, so these are other features like uh, update check and uh, modes that you've unlocked, as well as the sound test. 
but you can only do that if you played everything. Yeah, that's the settings. And of course, it's that. So, uh, I'm not gonna discuss the load and new, because I'm not gonna- I'm only gonna do new after I'm done everything else. I'm gonna go in here. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna see what happens if you press enter on this. Okay. Oh, so you can do that too. And return means back. And extra modes, I'm not going to talk about those. If you press page up or down in here, it does nothing. You have to press home or end to go through the end of the menu in the beginning. Maybe you can press escape too, I don't know. And uh, of course, let's go through the settings. Because I've customized my own to my liking. Environmental setting. BDM. Auto save setting. Auto save. So when you when your game is in progress, it will either auto save screen display. Let's see. display. This auto save. It will auto save like in a slot, probably. That's a good idea, actually. Display the closing end. Um, so it's only going to ask you when you are exiting the game, or maybe after a year, I don't know. I think, I think it asks you if you want to save every single year or month, I don't know about that. I'm going to select... Display at the closing end. I don't know what that does, but I hope that's what I had it set to before. And of course, you can change the BGM volume. Please adjust the volume and down keys. Please press the enter when you decide to. That's the lowest it can go. Go this high. I'm gonna put it up to here. Environmental setting. BGM volume. Setting the message speed. Message beep. Do you sound the message beep? Now, if you select yes, it will give you a bunch of clicks as the messages are displayed. I'm gonna say no because that's what I had it on. Setting. It makes that noise when you set something. BGM setting. Setting the beep when you go out. Setting the message beep. Setting the beep when you go out. Um, I don't know what that does. It will be determined the speed of the beep when you are out. Oh, okay, I think the way that works is when you're moving from space to space. Usually. Slowly. Usually. Fast. Turbo. Fast. Usually. I'm gonna go for usual. Because I like it that way, and if you really need to, you can press enter once you're moving to go into turbo mode. destination of the south. That is the screen reader. Uh, don't mess with that because it'll screw you over. PCT cursor. PC clipboard output. I will send the audio to the clipboard. PCT cursor. We do flight reading corresponding to PC talker in PC talker BDMW system. It will improve the response. The children's judgment starts automatically determine the screen reader is you can make the appropriate audio output. That's weird, but yeah. NVDA output. I will do the reading corresponding to the NVDA. Sapify, read aloud using the Sapify Japanese speech synthesis engine. Japanese speech synthesis engine which corresponds to Sapify on the computer must be installed. Yeah, it's gotta be Japanese. It won't work without. Okay, I'm gonna talk about that. Um, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna say uh, that, of course, you can have uh, computer opponents in this game, and once you do, the way it scrolls through messages when it presses enter automatically. One, two, three, three, four. three four. Initiative. Or initiative. Initiative means you have to press enter to scroll through the messages, and that's how I like it, because I don't want it to skip. Environmental setting. Reading setting set out there. Sentence method. Start up updates of confirmation. Uh, that's like checking for updates. Of course. When you start the game, if there is an update available, updates, you can check it. You do not have to check. Start up check at the time of. 
set my mental setting. Speed Instagram errors. They are always there. And of course, return. Okay, so we're done configuring the game. Now, let's start the game. Actually, like, actually start the game and see what's gonna happen inside. Before you start the game, please do the various settings of the game. Okay. I'm gonna talk about different play modes later once we've done our first playthrough. When you've understand it, when you've understood the, uh, the concept of the game. Selection of play mode. I'm gonna go for uh, stump running mode, normal mode. Now normal mode. Selection of the play lights. Okay. Um so you can Select how many years, how much time, will the game take until it's completely over. You can always reload a save if you need to. It goes up to 99. I'm going to go for 5 years. I usually go for 7 or 10, but I'm just going to go for 5. Please select the number of players. You can, it should be noted. Cannot be changed later. Yeah, of course. You can select the number of players here. I'm gonna go for four because it's fun. Um, getting back to the the years though, you can select if you really need the game on to go on for longer. You can actually set more years in the options menu if you need to. The selection of players of persons. You can have two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight. I'm gonna go for four people. people. Please set the name of the four players by pressing the tab key. You can name input to double time. Selected player one. They're all named player one, player two, player three, player four. Selected player. Player two name. Player three name. Player four name input. Editary of player four. SQC check. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna press this button here. I don't care about my names. Press. You you press tab again. Okay. So what that means? Is operate on their own means you are controlling it. I'm gonna put all of them to calm control, which is computer. Please select player to character. This character will mainly appear as personality when using the card. Okay, I'm gonna select all of them spirit trees because uh why not? These are like difficulties for the computer opponents, basically. It just matters on how uh, which cards they use and whether they use them. I'm gonna talk about cards when we get them. Player to character, symmetry, just a normal form tip tree. <laughs> please select, please select player for symmetry, please select player for symmetry, just a normal. You gotta press tree. up. Once to get to Spirit Tree. Okay. Next destination. Shizuoka Prefecture. The price money and twenty three million one hundred and seventy thousand. Okay. Before I start, let's just uh, tell you what just happened. So, uh, we're now at the start of the game. The first year, of course, and. Um, what you heard there was the destination being spun. There are a lot of different places on the board. There's 481 spaces on the board, and you can move between any of them using the dice or different cards. And at the start of the game, no one has cards, so you gotta get them. And, uh, the way you get cards is, uh, well, there's a lot of different ways. But, the destination is always there. Every time, uh, you start a game, or when someone reaches the destination, a new one is being spun. And, you, uh, can move there and get that money and, uh, do some other stuff. I really like this music, though. Okay. There's no smaller denomination of yen than 10,000. So if you get rid of those four zeros, 
you get 2317. Okay, so let's discuss this menu. Select option. There is shake the dice. Shake the dice, which I'm gonna talk about when I do my first move. Cart. Card, which you don't have any. Select action. I do not have a card. Of course. Card. Field view. You can view the spaces on the board. Information of the player. Information menu. On here, there is destination. Shift your local prefecture price money two thousand three hundred and seventeen yen. The conventional method of each player. One year under the report. Destination. Shift your one year under the report. Uh, I don't know what that means, but destination. Fragments of possession gold and star of each player. Okay, so how much money and how many uh star fragments they've got? Player one, ten million yen star fragments and three versus King Devil mechanics. Do not have. Uh, King Devil mechanics. Yeah, I don't know why it says three on every single one of them. Sometimes numbers are being misinterpreted. So, uh, no one has star fragments yet. Player two, ten million, player three, player four, ten million yen. Position information of each player. I have ten million yen. Player one, zero distance from the destination. Shift your local prefecture, 221, 221. So, the space that we need to move to is 221. Select. And you press enter to go back. Card field information of the player. Property information. I'm not gonna go in there, but there are properties in the board that you can buy, and uh, when they land on them, yeah, they have to pay, and you can get that revenue and crap. Recent drop. That just displays uh, the history of the messages that was sent. Option. And of course, the options menu. Options which menu. Contains... CRM. Change the current player name. Yeah, you can change the names. CRM setting operation character. You can change if they're computer players or not. CRM character changes. That you can change which co uh, which character they are. Say, change in the play lights. And you can save Say. the game right now. There's only five slots in the game though. Change in the play lights. And ten and uh, you can change the uh, years. Environmental setting. And your settings. Game over. And quit. Return. And go back. Select. And I like that noise as well. Okay, so let's make my first move. All you gotta do is press the shake the dice button. And when you do, this will happen. This is gonna keep going on, and when you feel like it, you just press enter again and it will... Two came out. Move, move. Two came out. Now you can explore the field and see where you wanna go. You can go forwards or backwards. We're all at zero, so we can just move down or south. And if you want to go to the next nearest space where you can go, you can press shift up or down depending on which one you want to go in. If I press shift up now, you can't because you're at zero. And of course, uh, I don't know how it works. Uh, I don't know how control up or down works. Oh, okay. That's the that's the noise it makes when you go through spaces. If you spread, if you press space, it will allow you to select how much, how many spaces to move with the control up or down arrows. 20, 50, 100, 10, 20, 50, 100, 10. I never use them though. I just press shift down. Okay, so uh, the first thing that we can land on is a property. So this property, you can buy it for 900,000 yen, and it's going to ask you... Are you sure you want to buy this property? Purchase. Quit. Purchase or quit. Quit just means do nothing. Purchase. So I'm going to buy it because, you know, it doesn't hurt to have properties. Now the uh, other players will take their actions and we'll see where they go. Player two, the Three came out. The case of city of player three on the turn. That was an empty space. Three came out. Move to the south. The case of city of player four on the turn. I mean, he moved the same square. Six to nine. And player four came out. Move to the south. The case. This is the north side of the Cato. So that is a um. Is a 
something that can be a destination. I'm gonna call them prefectures, because that's what they were before. Um, there are a lot of things that can happen when you land on any of these, and if any of them are the destination, you get the money and, uh, other stuff. So, let's see what happens when you... Oh, nothing. Okay. So, I'm gonna continue moving. Uh, just to note here, the, uh, prefectures are not randomized, they're just there. And all the other things are... So you don't always know what the board contains, only when you start the game. This is empty space, I'm just gonna move to it. There's money plus squares, money minus squares, and a bunch of other squares, which we're gonna talk about once they get there. I don't know what that is, maybe it was a building. I don't know. Okay, the way that works is either money plus or money minus, if you land on any of them, you gotta shake the dice, and then pawning on which year you're on, and, um, and, uh, the dice that you've rolled, there's a certain random chance of, uh, how much you're gonna get, and it lost 780,000. He just landed on a money plus, and he got some money. Okay. This music signifies that it is summer now. Every, uh, um, every music, I mean not music, but every, uh, um, uh, whatever you call it, I don't know, sections of the years like spring, summer, autumn, and winter, they all have at least two themes, and this is one of them. So, let's move. Now, you can go back. So, I can move to a building, but it's way too hard to buy, so it's just gonna be nothing. And he's at the same space. And that was a uh, nothing. And that was a building that he couldn't buy. Okay. Move again. Whoa! That's way too much milling. Uh, it's way too much yen. Okay, so he landed on the card room, which allows him to pick from a cell of five, a grid of five uh, to five cards. Um, he can only pick one of them, and he doesn't know what they are. He just picks one, and he's gonna find out what he picked. Like this. Please choose a card. Pull the card the send bomb card. Send a bomb card. Okay, um, I'm only gonna talk about different types of cards when I actually get one. Because if the other person's got something then, well, you know. And then the music resumes like that. Uh, any player can only have 10 cards in their hand at a time. Just warning. 
who came out. Lip low. Hunting speed rise and seven million capital increase level one. Uh, yeah, that's not a uh, proper. Tough player to on the turn. Select the dice. Hunt came out. Lip low to the south. Tough speed. Hunt came out. Lip low to the blue casino. Welcome to the blue casino. Okay. This is another special place. Um, there are three types of casinos. There's the blue casino, there's the yellow casino, and there's the red one. The blue will allow you to play with, uh, the number puzzle. Where, it's kind of like the bombs in, uh, Death on the Road, where you swap numbers. And, you pay, uh... 1 million times the year, so he's going to pay a million, and he's always going to play. And, um, there's a 25 second time limit, and you gotta, you know, complete the puzzle in that time limit. So, he's probably going to get a lot of money. Here, play with puzzle set in the end 100. Watch your puzzle, play the game. So, ready sounds good, we will stop the game. And he can actually do it. He's, uh, these AI things are very advanced. Listen to how he's gonna do the puzzle like this. Three, two, one, go. Six, three, eight, nine, one, eight, eight, three, six, two, six, three, eight, nine, two, nine, eight, three, six, three, eight, nine, six, four, six, nine, eight, six, eight, nine, seven, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine. Yay. Congratulations. Three million three hundred and eighty thousand yen is one that rise up. So, he, uh, doubled, no, he tripled his money. We're still in uh, winter. I'm gonna move the wall, uh, to autumn in a bit. That was an empty space or something that you couldn't die. And this is autumn. This is, I think it's, this is my favorite um, theme of the game. I don't know why, but I just like this one. Especially the recorder. Okay, let's move. One came out, move mode. Twenty farmer price and three million six hundred thousand capital oh. increase level one without order. I can buy it. Uh, this listing is three million six hundred thousand yen. Player two off the turn. Select shape the dice. One came out. Move, move to the south. Player three off the turn. Select shape the dice. Hunt came out. Move, move to the south. Copy patting stuff. Keep park. Here is the number that's on player one ownership. Because oh, you yay. have to pass through here, you must not have to pay 180,000 yen. Yay. Player four off the turn. You paid 180,000 yen. Select check the dice. Six came out. Move, move to the south. Copy patting stuff. Keep farm. Player one. Here is the number three section. Player one off the turn. Okay. Select. Four came out. Move mode. Twenty player. Twenty four yellow casino. Oh, I'm gonna land on a yellow casino. Yellow blue casino. Yellow casino. Here's a yellow casino. Okay. So yellow casino is a different kind of casino where you play the card minesweeper game. You have ten spaces, two rows, five columns, and the betting is the same. Um, so once you bet, you are placed in a grid with two rows and five columns and you gotta pick spaces by pressing the space bar and if you pick one that has a card you win that card if you pick one that has mine you lose the game and you get those cards I only had four cards like I had that to happen like three times I don't know what's gonna happen now next but you know um, so there are five mines, five cards. Here at the end 100, and no seeds to play with minesweeper card. What should I do? Play it, play the game. Play it from listening to the description. Leave the casino. Play, play the game. Now, I'm not stop the game. Okay, so you gotta move through. Left, right, left, down, up, down, up. I'm gonna pick this. And it will. It's one that big pick up. Okay, um, that is a useful card to have. Next spot. And that was nice. And I like the game over music. Yay. 
Yay. The unfortunate. No, now is a quiet count one photo. Player two on the turn. Okay. Uh, why it says one photos is because Japanese have calendars after the numbers, and sometimes they're misinterpreted as photos. Well, they're thin sheets, I guess. So the beep 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 card, I think that's what it's called, <clears throat> um, is going to summon this thing that will allow you to spin a wheel and get another card. A rare card. Now, this can be accessed randomly, like it will just appear randomly in a certain space. Okay, now I can see the card the card menu. So there's ten cards. I have nothing in them. Except for the first one, which is the beep beep pick card. Which is the beep 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 card. Let me disable uh, auto translate just to hear it. Yeah, pee 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 cado. Now, if you um, if you press space on this, you can hear. The rest of the creatures of the mystery that is handing out cards. Yep, it will warp you to a pee pee pee. And I'm actually gonna do a uh, Japanese special um, episode of this too, just so we can hear the actions in Japanese. Check the dice. Okay, let's move. One came out. Move both. Player two twenty five. Lost your price fifteen million. Apple lost. Player two. I can't buy it. Check the dice. Three came out. Move to the south. See this random warp. Player three off the turn. Oh, he missed the random warp. See the dice. Actually, I, sh I should have been lucky for that because... Oh! Hit it. Now, I'm gonna check where he is in relation to this nation. Because he's pretty close, I think. Oh. Okay, let's see how far you'd go. Oh, you got two cards. Sorry, I just like that music. The unfortunate. No now is a quiet count was two photo. Player one of the turn. And this is a winner, of course. Okay, um let's see how player two is doing. Oh, he's gotta go, go 60 spaces north. Okay. Let's hope I'm gonna hit that warp sooner or later. I don't know if I'm gonna pass it or not, but you know. Oh, money plus. Yep, I just passed it. Oh, that's not fair. Every time I get a money plus before someone else does, and I roll the same number or higher, I get less money. <laughs> anyway. Oh. Whoa! That was, uh, weird. Unexpected. Um, okay, I don't really understand the Baramakiman, uh, very well, but I, I know, wait, what the, let me pause that Okay, now that we've gotten t that taken care of, you may have noticed that the music fa uh, faded out and in once I came out here, which is cool. So, what I do know is that there's a certain space on this uh, thing, which is labeled card storage, and you can actually get cards, like free cards, from there and store the ones that you don't need. 
which I never store things to just get things. So, now, when you just go through these messages, it's gonna put one of those cards in here, and it's gonna sprinkle a lot of them on the board. I have no idea why it says Sue a lot, but it does. Okay. One came out. Oh. It's gonna be oh, it didn't even restart. It just faded out and faded back in. Okay, now it's back. That was a weird glitch. Welcome, give her a come shop. If you have purchased the card, not please go to my feel free to. Okay, well, this is the card shop. There's a lot of them over here, just like the card rooms. They're just under the spaces. And, uh, they sell random cards. There's ten of them. They sell ten random cards for different prices. And you can sell your own. Select the company you want to buy. Destination catch. Select Super Mario Company and 23 million. I don't know what he's buying. Select the one. Sell the player three of the two. bots. The Select the night. Six came out. Move to the north. Can money, money, trap. Falling all. It goes to six traps out. There are, um, things. Um, there are spaces that will take you north or south. Uh, they'll roll the dice and take you either north or south. I mean, there there are spaces that takes you to the north, and there are spaces that takes you to the south. So the it, south, it just rolls the dice. Okay. I'm gonna see Recent lock. what happened there. Current lock. October. And I don't know why it says October. Exclusive one time apartment. Exclusive this place is jump to nice foot. Player four off. Was stopped. It was three trout. Jump to. It went further to six trout south. Exclude jump to nice six player three. I bought a face down card. I bought a horse card. Four at once I bought a card. Where it's perched the card shop. Okay, so yeah, that's what they bought. I don't know what the face down card is, but yeah. Let's go. I came out with mode. 35 card. Yay, I can get another card. card. Welcome to the top room. Please choose. I always I always pick the center one. Which is the minus card was a one proceed card. A one advance card. It's either called a one proceed, a one promote, or one advance. That's just one of those things that they can be called. Player two off the turn. So that will advance you, just like the dice was. It will just do it. From one, there are cars that will go one, two, ten. Okay, the way this works. Okay, what he did there was he used the horse card. There are cars that will put you into. Uh, they'll. To put the dice, like there's more dice, and you can move more. There's the uh, bike, there's the horse, there's the um, track, the track as it's called, but it's a truck. There's the um, race car or sports car. There's the train. There's the um, shinkansen. There's the express, there's the plane, there's the jet, jumbo jet, and there are rockets and other crap. So that was three dice there. And you can move four more spaces. So now, if you go in here, one remote card. There's this, one advance, and that's all it does. 
Now, this is the last turn or round. Maybe maybe the last two until this episode will end, because I'm only gonna play until the first few the first year. One came out, this so, one. Thirty-six. Yay. Player two, the turn. Select complete. Test come card. When the cards are in the table, what a one up super button I can't. I have no idea. Wait. So that's like a card replacement card. And the super good Bobby card is a card that will warp you to a different location. Player three off the turn. Select the dice. One came out. Look to the north, money plus. One came out. 210,000, yeah, it's one. And, if it's, and, uh, if everything's, if anything's got a super before it, it means it can be used multiple times. 210,000, yeah, it's one. Well, that's nothing. Player four off the turn. Select checks the dice. Finally. That came out. Move, move to the south. Touch London, the army brief. Trap for all. It goes to full trap south. Move to the south. Trap money building. So what I just said there was one year financial results. First year financial financial reserve results. Player one. Total revenue from property. Two million two hundred and fifty thousand yen. Year on year two million two hundred and fifty thousand yen on sales. That means that when you uh uh that um is uh in this year what you've got. Player two. Total revenue from property. At you, no, I do not have any weather property. That income is little at all anymore. Okay. Year on year, no change. Player three, total revenue from profit. At you, no, I do not have any weather property. That income is little at all anymore. I don't know why it says zero like that, but okay. Year on year, no player four, total revenue from property. Four million two hundred thousand yen. Year four million two hundred thousand yen. The sound you heard there was um a sound that that uh like goes up in pitch. No, 276 seeds can't eat at the end. And these are the things that have changed during the years. Or during the year. A card eater is a person or this thing that'll eat one card or more cards or it won't eat anything. But once you land on it, it may eat your cards. Someone tied a rifle into no 173 can't eat at it seems to have shot and killed. Someone fight a rifle into no 440 cup eater, it seems to have shot and killed. This year, you can play with Ryan game. Do you want to participate in the game? Okay, so there's a few mini games involved as well. I'm always gonna, um, you know, play these because I like them. Skip. There's skip. Participation. And there's participation. We beat them this week with Ryan Drum game. Rules of this game is simple. This game has to challenge Ryan Drum in one by one order. Shake the dice, please expect a break or smaller than the dice following outcome came up and after time the forecast has come off the player at the end, we will move on to the next player. Okay, the way that works is, you'll roll the dice, you'll get an amount, and you want to know, it'll select, you have to select if the next die will be higher or lower. If it's a double, in any case, you'll lose. And how many of these can you get? Uh, and if you get more than the other players, then you'll uh, get the prize if uh, there are, there's a draw between the highest place those people will go get. Likely be presented to people who are the most expected. So, right away, game start. Player one challenge. Okay, it's my turn. Let's go. Three came out. Enemy high greater than three. Small. Small. Large. I'm gonna go for larger. Six came out. Yay. Made it. Six came out. And we got small. Small. One came out. Yes. Four came out. And we got greater than four small. Smaller. Five came out. No. Player one goes two. Well, I got two. Player two challenge. Okay. This is a computer's turn. We got one. Two came out. And we got greater than two. Small. Large. Five came out. We got two. Five came out. And we got greater than five. Small. Five came out. And we got two as well. Player three. Player three. 
Good, but not a good guess. Um, every single one of us, except for player three, had two. Since the slots are the same players, we will continue the game. Yep. Player one challenge. Okay, let's go. Two came out. And the operator. Six came out. Yes. Got one point. One came out. And the operator. Oh. oh, okay, so it just goes like that. Okay, good. Oh, okay, three, two, and of course, player three won't go again because he's got zero. Oh no. I'm screwed now. Oh. oh yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, wait, what? Uh, what the crap just happened there? Uh, yeah, we got beaten completely. Um, 3206. And after 3, you have 2 dice. So that means. Okay, um, that's weird. And of course, player 4 wins and gets a bunch of money, about 200 million yen, like this. Okay. And it's gonna ask you to slot to save if you've got the second option selected. I'm gonna select slot 1. And, uh... Yeah, that's it for this episode. Select. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Option. Go to the options menu. Options menu. The second to last Good. item is. Game over. And we'll say. We have finished the game. Is it okay? And it's gonna say. End. End or. It is useless. It is useless. <laughs> that's cool. Well, it's like I don't want to do it. More like. End. So once you click this gonna quit like that so i hope you've enjoyed this uh video and i'm gonna come back probably tomorrow and uh yeah i'm going to save i mean uh, i'm gonna do the next two years and then the next two years after that so, yeah, thanks for watching this one, and goodbye for now.